Good morning, folks. It is Ash. Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. So for this week's video, I thought it'd be fun to just make a little, a little video showing you guys how I style my hair because I've recently um, changed up my haircut and it's been a little hard navigating how to style it, but I figured it out and yeah, I wanted to show you guys um, and just do a little quick video because I washed my hair today and now is the perfect time to style it. Also, if you absolutely don't care about this, you can feel free to scroll out of this video. Um, I just wanted to do this for fun. But yeah, if you have similar hair to me, then maybe hopefully this will help you. I will say though that um, the main tool I use is pretty expensive. It's the Revlon hair dryer brush. You've probably seen it around on TikTok. So there are a bunch of other dupes for that if you need it, but yeah. We're gonna head over to my sink and I'll show you guys what I do. Okay, so the first step is obviously to wash your hair and I would recommend waiting until it's like 70 to 80% dry before you do this. So first you wanna brush it out, a little brush. And then something I do sometimes when I'm feeling it, I don't do this all the time because I get lazy, but I section out my hair so that it's easier to like, identify which parts I want to do and I just use a little claw clip like this. Okay next this is super important because this tool is really hot you want to put some heat protectant on so I'm using the Pantene heat primer you can use whatever you prefer but this is just what I've got here. And then once you're done applying your heat protectant, you turn this bad boy on and it is loud. I will say that. And then you just run it through your hair like so. For this side, I like to do it away from my face and I just twist. I just keep pulling and twist. Okay, this part is pretty key. So. When you like let go of it, you want to pull down and also twist like that. So that when it dries, you get this fun little curl at the bottom. And yeah, I just did it on my whole head and it's really, really simple. So yeah, I'm going to do the rest of my hair and I'll show you. Okay, so you can see for the most part it's pretty blown out. The last step is to do my curtain bangs. And the way I do that is I take my front section like this and I put it up. Then I take the thing and I twist up. Just like this. Yeah, this is basically it. The last thing I like to do, so I've been blow drying it on, I don't know if you can see that, I've been blow drying it on the low setting, but the last thing I do is put it on cool to just kind of like set everything and make sure it stays. And usually when I do this, it lasts me like three to four days until my next wash. So it's pretty good. I'm just gonna run this through one more time on the cool setting so that everything sets. Okay, so I finished using the hair dryer brush and this is how it turned out. It looks very nice, but last thing I do, just a finishing touch. 
I use some leave-in conditioner because sometimes my ends can get really dry from this because it is really hot so I just add a little moisture back into my hair with the leave-in conditioner and this is the Victoria's Secret brand I got it for Christmas from like a while ago so yeah just a little spritz on the ends yeah And that's that. So now that I've finished doing my hair, all that is left is to put on my outfit and then I'm ready for the day. Okay, y'all, this is my outfit for the day. My sweater is from Cotton On and so are my, so is my belt. My jeans are American Eagle and my shoes I got from Sheen. Yeah, this is how I got ready today and how I did my hair. <laughs> But yeah, guys, that's how I do my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my little routine and just me getting ready for my day today. Am I going anywhere? Absolutely not, but I still want it to look good. So yeah, if you made it to this point in the video, you are a very good human and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.